Hello and welcome to your next project in CSS and today we're going to be attempting creating a Jeopardy style table. Now I'm kind of doing this on the fly I don't have I'm probably going to make some mistakes so please bear with me this trying to figure this out as I do it. So the first thing we'll probably want to do is align the table in the center and obviously I spelled align wrong didn't turn red and we'll want to see the border so probably make that one pixel and now the width for the height and the width the dimensions think about how there's six categories across and there's five values down plus the category so it's 600 by or six by six so we want to use multiples of six just to make it easy so the width is 600 pixels and for the height they're not perfect squares so I'm gonna flatten it a little bit I'm going to use 450 pixels. So let's save and see what we have so far. Oh, there we go. That looks pretty good. So what you might be thinking about is, oh, well, when we click one of the questions, we're probably going to want that question to be inside this box when you go on to the next page. So since all of our questions will be on separate pages, just copy all this, paste it into a new document, click Save, and I already have a Jeopardy folder here and I'll call this question one because it kinda is and I'm only gonna be doing one question no point in doing all of them and I click save and there you go now since we're gonna wanna apply the same coloring and whatnot to all the questions in the main page we're gonna need a CSS file so I'll just create a new one and click save as and I'll probably just name it default dot CSS so um, let's get started, let's create uh, all of our cells, our six rows by six columns and six pieces of data and in there probably have just a category. I'm not going to letter them or number them because that would take too long. So it's two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm going to copy all of this. And this will be money. So I think it's $200 now is the least that you can get with a question. Unless it's a special thing in which you can bid as much as you want. So that's six. And we need five of these. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, excuse me. One, two, three. No, I, no, I did too many. So I'll refresh the page, and there it is. So next, we want the text to be white. We want the text to be centered, and we want the background to be blue. So uh, let's access our table in this CSS file and we'll probably want the yeah we want the text align to be center did I spell that right? it's starting to make me nervous um, then we're gonna want the color of the text to be white then we're probably going to want background color to be blue. I click save. Oh, I guess I didn't save it yet? Oh, no, I didn't save my CSS file yet. My bad. So I'll call it default. I thought I did. I could have sworn I did. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to need to be able to link to this file. So, within our header tags, we're going to create a link tag then rel equals style sheet then the type is text slash CSS then the reference will be inside that folder and then the name of the file with the extension so then I'm going to copy all of this right here and all the questions need to have that as well 
except my questions like this one is in the Jeopardy folder already so I don't need to have the folder specified so I'll click save all now let's uh, see what we have oh there we go now everything's the way we want it uh, so let's add a style or first uh, uh, first of all let's make this a link right here I'm gonna make this a link so um, yeah create a pair of anchor tags here and probably give this an ID because we don't want all links to be the same so this is going to be value because you get money out of it I guess and we'll click save and now it's a link oh, oh whoops href my bad uh, so it will be it will go into jeopardy slash question one dot html so I'll refresh the page and there it is and it's oh it's actually visited so I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna say this because there, there's a there's a reason why I'm gonna okay so it's coordinate is one one so I'll just call it question one one something like that and because I want you to see something uh, it, it's important so I'll refresh the page and now you can't see the link that's because a default color for a link is blue so we're gonna want to change that so all the time every time you make a link make sure it has the same ID for all these different values so pound and then I believe value was the name of the link that I made it then for the text color we'll make it white then uh, that's about it I, I believe it is oh yeah text decoration none we don't want any underlines we want it just to be regular there we go now it's a link then we're going to want to change it for when we hover over it so value colon hover so when we hover over it even though in the actual game nothing actually changes I don't think there does not that I really watch the show that much uh, we want the text to become yellow and should we make it bold just for fun yeah let's make it bold just for fun so I'll press F5 and there you go now it bolds and it's yellow when we go over it and then when we click on it now we come here so we're going to want a question to appear here. So going back here, going to our question, we're now going to have to create one row and one piece of data, one column. And in here, we can type in, let's see, um, what is my birthplace? So I'll click save and let's see how that press F5. Now click this. What is my birthplace? And as you can see, the text is already centered because in here we already well oh, oh it's in the table itself. A line is centered, so we don't have to worry about that. Um Oh yeah, text line right here is centered. So um you can type as much as you want if it goes on to the next line but we can also change the uh, the font just for the questions now you do that in here in the, this piece of TD data we can make the ID here question I don't think I used that ID yet I don't think I did and pound question I believe we can mess with the font size so let's do that font size I don't know what I don't want to be I don't want to make it too big 20 pixels that might be big oh actually it's not big enough uh, let's make it 30 pixels I'll click save ah that's better and and then it can fill up the whole screen whatever you want you can change the border color as well if you wish and, and that's about it you, you you click this and you go right to the question 
you can also make this a link to go right back to the home page if you wish and uh, that, that's about it all these would all these would become links you have to go back to your index file and make them all links I don't want to do that because that's really repetitive and this video would go on forever if I did that this is a lot of work but um, that that's that's about it you can style the borders however you want and that's pretty much how you create a jeopardy style table so um, keep guessing